Good morning, respected principal, ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. Today, these students of Standard A are going to present your presentation on National Science Day. I am Rishi Sanjay Gupta from 8th grade. I am Shivam Pala from Standard 8th grade. I am Jasna Bhujari from 8th grade. I am Kushi Prabhu from 8th grade. I am Nijara Jain from 8th grade. I am Ruthvi Kalalya from 8th grade. As you all know, National Science Day is celebrated through the discovery of Raman effect. The main objective of celebrating National Science Day is to spread the message about the importance of science and uses of science in our daily life. To discuss all the issues and implement the new technology, science is very important in everyone's life. Why is Science Day celebrated? 20th February is observed as National Science Day in India every year. National Science Day is celebrated for the discovery of Raman effect by Sir C. V. Raman. The first National Science Day was celebrated on February 28, 1987. Did you know that? It means that today is the 36th National Science Day which was celebrated. So, the first time I went to Ramana, the Indian physicist discovered the Ramani tribe. He was born on 7th November 1888 in the village of Tinchira Pali in Tamil Nadu. So, Sevi Ramana was an Indian physicist known for his work in the field of life scattering. Education of Sir Sevi Ramana. Sir Sevi Ramana did his schooling from the St. Eloshes and Moonbeam School. In 1904, he obtained the B.A. degree and in 1907, he obtained the M.A. degree from the University of Madras. Do you all know from where did the idea of Raman scattering start in his Sir Sidney Raman's mind? Once Sir Sidney Raman was travelling from London to India back, he noticed that why the colour of the water in the sea is blue. For example, the ray coming from the sun strikes the apple and all the colors are absorbed by the apple leaving the red color. The red color is coming from the apple to our eyes and we see the apple in red color. As we see the apple from our eye, the optic now sends the message to our brain. Light imitates from the sun. When light travels a transparent material, some of the reflected light changes its wavelength. This phenomenon is called as Raman scattering or Raman effect. Now let us know what is Raman effect. Raman effect is a change in wavelength of light that occurs when a light beam is deflected by the molecule. While a beam of light travels a dust-free or transparent sample of a chemical compound, a small fraction of a light emerges in direction other than that of the incident or incoming beam. It was proved by using a quartz spectrography. This phenomenon was founded by Sir C. V. Uh, Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman in the year 1928. The phenomenon was named as Raman scattering or Raman effect. This is the picture of Sir C. V. Raman when he was bestowed Nobel Prize for his work in physics. Sir C. V. Raman getting the Nobel Prize in physics in 1930 for his work on the scattering of light. The Indian should be proud that he was the very first Asian to get the Nobel Prize. Importance of Raman Effect Raman Effect helps us in explaining various natural phenomena like appearance of blue sky, delayed sunset, advanced sunrise, etc. It also explains us the appearance of red sky during sunrise and sunset. Thank you.
Now students, would you like to know what exactly the scattering of light is? Yes. So the students of 6th and 7th will demonstrate the scattering of light.
My name is Shivali Pani from A. Today I am going to explain you about conductor. Conductor is a substance with electric current flows through it. In a conductor, electric charge carries electric charge carries from atom to atom. For example, we are having the spray. Spray. If we keep this spray over here, then the light will be switched off. If the if we will keep this tweezer, then also the light will be switched on. Thank you. Myself, I suppose from H day, today I have to explore the world of insulators. Insulators are the substances or the objects which allows, don't allow the electricity to flow from it. Uh, they have three atoms and mainly non-metals are the insulators. For example, we have here a golden piece. Golden piece when kept in here doesn't react with the electrical current. The light is not switched off. Uh, switched off. And we also have a paper reel. So when we keep this also, the light is not switched off. Thank you. Thank you. The morning is affected principal man, teacher and all my dear friends. We are Ankush Biswas and that starts from 9A. Today, on the occasion of Science Day, we are going to explain how registers in parallel connection function. In this project, we have used mountboard, copper wire, switch, connector, uh, a 9 volt battery and some bulbs. When the switch is turned on, When the switch is turned on, electricity from the wire passes through the circuit by the battery and the bulbs glow immediately. Even if any one of the bulbs connected in parallel does not function, the circuit does not break as the current flowing through the circuit from the other parts and the bulbs light up. When several bulbs are connected in parallel, they emit the same amount of light as when they are connected individually in the circuit. The characteristics of this connection are uh, resistors are said to be connected in parallel when they are connected at the both sides. This type of connection is used to reduce the uh, this type of connection is used to reduce the resistance uh, in the circuit. Uh, the potential difference across the end of the, all the uh, resistors is the same. Uh, the, resistance, uh, uh, the resistance of the resistors connected in parallel connection is less than the leash of the resistance of individual resistors. Thank you.
process time.
Peroxidin remains colorless in acidic solution and when added in basic solution. Right in your color. Thank you.
morning teachers and all my dear friends today's our experiment is on magnetic effects of electric current as we all know the needle of the compass is a magnet and it always rests in the north south direction in our experiment an electric copper wire is wrapped around the compass as we switch on the current as we switch on the current the needle starts deflecting its direction due to the produced magnetic field the needle is deflecting because both the magnets are producing their own magnetic field thus this is the magnetic effect of current Good morning, respected principal, ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. Today we, we are students of standard eight, and today we are gathered over here to show you about colloid suspension and solution. Myself, Kapsh Kumar. Myself, Mayuri Dalvi. Myself, Kushal Prabhu. Myself, Vidhan Kapoor. Solution colloid and mixture are types of mixture. So solution is an homogeneous. In solution, the component which is in large proportion is known as solvent, and the component which is in less proportion is known as solute. So as you can see, when the salt is mixed with the water, the Everything about cell you have studied and listened to me carefully. 
We will start from the starting and know what exactly a cell is. Cells are considered the basic and smallest unit of life. Cells were discovered by Robert Moore in 1955. A cell has three main parts. Cell membrane, nucleus, and cytoplasm. Cells are surrounded by a structure called as cell membrane. Cytoplasm is present inside the cell membrane and nucleus contains DNA. Now we will talk about different cell organelles and its functions. Nucleus. Nucleus is covered by a double nucleus. Nucleus is covered by a double layer membrane with small pores. Nucleus is covered by a double layer membrane with small pores and has a round nucleus and a network of chromin and fibers. It controls all the metabolic activities and transmits the hereditary character. Endoplasmic reticulum conducts various substances inside the cell. It has a network structure and it is connected to the nucleus. It is a framework that supports the cell. Quality complex. Quality complex is made up of 5 to 8 hollow and flat sacs. These sacs are called systemic. It is the secretory organ of the cell. Mitochondria cell, mitochondria is a cellular organelle in which energy is produced, energy is formed in the, energy is produced in the form of ATP. It is called power of the cell. Thank you. Vacuoles, vacuoles are the storage cells. They do not have any shape or size and have single membrane. They maintain the osmotic pressure of the cell. Lysosomes. Lysosomes are simple single membrane bound cells. They are also known as suicide bags. In old damaged cells, lysosome burst and enzymes digest the own cells. So, I hope you all understood. Thank you for listening to us.
Thank you. Good morning, respected teachers and all my dear friends. My name is Abhay Abhadar from Standard 8B. I am the student from Standard 8B. Today we are going to learn about atmospheric pressure. Let's start. The pressure exerted by the weight of the atmosphere at sea level is known as atmospheric pressure. Let us understand more about this by this experiment. Coming out from the bottom hole, 
land farthest from the water. This is because when the depth of water increases, the water pressure will also increase. Thank you. Good morning teachers and all my dear friends. My name is Yogi Mukta from Channel A B. In this experiment, we will learn about the air pressure. What is the air pressure? The force applied by the air to the surface is called air pressure. For this experiment, we need a plastic bottle, balloon, straw. Now we, will, we have made a hole on bottle and fill straw in it. Good morning, my name is Anugija from Standard A B. Now we will add some water and place an inflated balloon on it.
Thank you. Good morning, respectable principal, ma'am, teachers, and all my dear friends. Today, we, the students of Channel 9, are here to present the presentation on the topic of human evolution. I am Ronish I am Ronish I am Manisha I am Neva Lupta. I am Nilesh. I am Shasha. I am Divya. Have you ever wondered what our ancestors look like or do you ever wanted to know about them? If yes, today we are going to do so. Before moving on, we shall know what is meant by the term of human evolution.
morphology of the human like animal started to appear like a member of the genus Homo. Now I would like to hand over the mic to Mooks for the activity. Thank you. I am going to explain the evolutionary stage of Homo australopithecus. Characteristic of australopithecus, this species existed approximately 40 lakh years ago. The ancestors of modern humans would have been recognized having both ape-like and human-like features. Thus, in sense of the viewing ape-like as reminiscent of gorillas or chimpanzees. The earliest example was discovered in South Africa in 1924. Australopithecus appearances were about 2 to 3 million years ago and in addition to evidently walking upright was both slightly taller and slightly lighter than Artipithecus remnants. Further exposition will be done by Lenoir. The next stage is a solo Characteristics of Homo elis are also known as killed human, are as follows. fifteen year, about 15 lakh years ago, Homo habilis evolved. They were the first example of a killed human. They were the first species to use bone tools. For the explanation, we will done by a divya. I am here to explain you about Homo erectus. Characteristics of Homo erectus. Homo erectus are also known as man-made evil expression. Homo erectus is an extinct species of hominid that lived in various parts of the world from approximately 140,000 to 2 million years ago. It is one of the longest lived and most widely dispersed members of human lineage with fossils found in Africa, Asia and Europe. Homo erectus had a larger brain size than its predecessors with an average cranial cavity of about 900 cc. They had a more modern looking body and limbs that earlier hominids with a long nose skull, a projecting bow ridge and tall narrow body suited for long distance walking and endurance. It may have existed in China and Indonesia of Asian continent. Fossils of Homo erectus have been found in various environments including savannas, woodland and coastal regions suggesting a flexible and adaptable species that, uh, that was capable of surviving in diverse environments. During the time between the development of the next species, the brain of man started to develop more rapidly. Discover of fire was done by man. Man started to use more modified food. They started to cook food. The father I would like to hand over the mic to Shashank for further slides. The next stage of evolution, Homo neanderthals. Characteristics of Homo neanderthals. Neanderthal species existed approximately 1.5 to 1 lakh years ago. Neanderthal man can be considered the first example of a wise man. Neanderthals were skilled hunters and made use of a variety of tools, weapons, including spears, knives, and scrappers. They also had the ability to control fire, which allowed them to cook food and keep warm in colder climates. The first cave painting was done by a Homo neanderthal man. The next stage of evolution is cro man Characteristics of cro man cro man man is considered a fully developed humans. About 10,000 years ago, Wise man started to practice agriculture and rear the castle herds and establish the cities and cultural development took place. The true Crow man of man evolved about 50,000 years ago and afterwards this evolution had been faster than the earlier. They are the closest, closest relative to modern man. 
after the development of from hand on man 10000 years ago development in agriculture implemented the technique of animal rearing civilization took place 5000 years ago the art of writing was invented after 400 years ago modern science started developing after 200 years ago industrial society and revolution for like uh, for further i would like to invite onish to end this meeting We hope our presentation has been gathered some information. Thank you. Children, I hope you have improved your knowledge of science, and soon I will see some budding scientists. Yes. Now I would like to request Komal Ma'am to say a few words. Ma'am, please.